Hi guys, Craggy here again. I'm doing a review because today we said we would do videos. And also, uh, Dave Mens Smizno, um, he has asked that we review bike bots, more bikes. So, here is Tailpipe. Now, Tailpipe's from the Dark of the Moon Human Alliance line which gave us some really cool bots. Um, they've, I never gotten in any of the, the big Human Alliance stuff, um, but the little ones, very cool. Um, some, of the, some of my favourite bots, especially from the movie lines, um, but just in general, uh, there's a lot of play with them. Uh, now this guy, Tailpipe, he has a very movie-ish face. Um, he's got his little four little eyes or cameras or something. He does have sort of a little face underneath there but it's not painted. Um, it's very difficult to see. Uh, it might be that he's got some sort of like night vision visor thing on but it really just looks like that's his face. Quite a nice little design. Um, he's got everything that he needs. Arms, move and do things. The, the hands, the wrist rotates as well actually, which is quite cool. Um, all the stuff's on ball joints. Um, there's also another little joint there so that you can put his arms across himself or whatever. Um, the thighs ball jointed. He has a, a ball joint down there. I think you can see that. Um, but he also has a like a a leg that pops off. Um, he has a a joint at the top of his knee that you can move forward to give him a chicken leg if you want. If he doesn't look movey enough for you. Um, and his little toes move and his heels move. So you can give him pretty good stability when you're standing him up. Um, nice black and grey design with a little bit of gold details in it. Blue and red on the chest there, but he's got a little red on his belly. Um, looks really nice. Um, it's not not too different from just a standard transformer. Um, and you see, he's he's got wheels on his back because he's a motorbike. Um, now, one of the things that I really like about this guy compared to some other bike bots is that he's still he's still a nice, pretty much symmetrical robot. And okay, yes, he has the wheels. But other than that, there's no sort of sacrifices made to make him a, a motorbike. Um, he also uses his, his namesake, his tailpipe here, which can fold round and give him sort of a little cannon, which is pretty cool. Um, now, being as he's from the Human Alliance line, he has a little partner uh, who is Sergeant Noble. And a Donna Noble's cousin or something. Um, and Human Alliance little guys, they're, pr they're decent. Um, he's got a fair amount of articulation in the legs and the thighs. Um, you can sort of make him do the splits. Um, the arms, they, they move up and down and round. And he does have actual wrist swivel as well, which is quite cool. And his head sort of moves around a little bit. Now, he's not the best designed guy, um, or detailed guy rather, um, but the body armor's all, well, not all painted, but there's some paint on his, his chest and his back, and on his, his patches on his arms. Uh, and the head, okay, he looks a little bit surprised, uh, but other than that, the face is it's pretty decent for these guys, um, and for how small it is as well. And you know, it's Hasbro; they they don't make toys of actual people at all. Haven't been doing it for thirty years, so I can see why they might be a little bit struggling with the the facial details. Considering he's just basically a guy made up for the toy line, he's okay. Now he also comes with, and not all 
all the Human Alliance guys did this, um, but this guy does um, have a little gun. I don't know what way this is supposed to go. Not this way for this mode. He has a gun thing, uh, which can go in his hands. He actually holds it pretty well like that. I think this is mistransformed. But it's a fairly giant gun, sort of twin Gatling gun sort of deal. Yeah, it looks alright. But it is another little dude. Called Pinpointer. Uh, but not the target, well he is a target master, but he's not the Pinpointer from G1. Um, he's a little bit more of a creepy insect bug sort of face and his arms just really do not like doing anything that l resembles any sort of humanoid other than that fairly nice uh, nice pose built in the legs ah the waist swivels that'll be how you plug him in as a gun properly right um, <laughs> the guns come down but they can come up as well and pop over his head which is quite cool uh, and the, the arms, okay, I think they're a bit terrible, uh, but they've got that big chunk to them. He looks kind of like he could have some sort of pile driver gimmick, like Rumble um, or Frenzy, the blue one and the red one. Now, I'm going to try and transform this guy, it's been a while, uh, so I might get a little bit lost. But I remember the basics, you, you disembowel him. Um, and then that bit all folds down there. Uh, then this bit pops up here. Does this do anything? Can't ever remember exactly how these bits are meant to go. I think that's right. It's not actually a difficult transformation, but it, it, it does have a lot of steps to it, and that's kind of cool. It's got a lot of different things that you can do with it. That's one of the things that I really liked about these Human Alliance bots is that they did have a lot of a lot of options um, because of the gimmick of them. See, I pretty much transformed him without actually touching the wheels or anything there. Um, do, there is a third mode for this guy, as all the Human Alliance bots did. It's third or fourth. Uh, there's two different ways you can have it as a, a vehicle variation or as a weapon. I can't get these bits on the wheels to come. As soon as I get one, uh, there we go. Is it going to work on this one? Yeah. Okay, so he's got awesome little saw blades that come out the front. And I guess you could have that as kind of a gun kind of deal. But it is mostly just for chopping fools up. Um, you, you could have a bigger bot use it as a weapon. Uh, they they can hold them in their five mil peg hands, um, or just have it like it is, just as a vehicle. Little guy, Sergeant Noble here. He can ride on it, kind of. It's a bit of an oversized motorbike, but. Hey, what are you going to do? Um, now that's not going to work yet. I need to finagle these around. Gotta put these back in. Right. I don't know if it's a motorbike as much as it is sort of a moped kind of deal. He's 
he's like a bike messenger. Um, but it it looks pretty decent. Um, yeah. I don't know how that goes, but the front has the four little lights like his face, so it's it's kind of like he can look at you when he's driving about, which is kind of cool. And this guy changes into a little pack that goes on his back of his vehicle mode. Um, there we go. This is definitely not how it's meant to go. There we go, that's it. I already did that for the other one. Um, so you can fit in there like a, a back mounted weapon. Sort of. Um, <laughs> you can fit in like a back mounted weapon on the bike. Oh, it doesn't want to. There we go. Um, or I suppose you could turn it the other way. Have it shooting out the back. It it's a cool little thing, but it's kind of unnecessary. Um, it's kind of makes the vehicle mode a bit too bulky for me. Because um, it's already ridiculously oversized for the the little rider. But you know what? It's kind of cool. I I do like it. I like the the value for money. You get a little man. You get two robots. You get four modes, four, three, well, three or four, um, and this guy transforms twice as well, because if you swivel his waist round, he does actually change into something more resembling a proper hand gun. You, you probably can fiddle around with the, yeah, you can close it up like that as well so that you can make the, the gun a little bit more compact. So a lot of variations that you can do with it. Customization is pretty cool. And he's he's just a lovely posable robot as a robot. Like even even without any of the other stuff going on, which is all pretty cool, um he's just a decent robot. Changing him back to a robot's very, very quick, uh, a lot easier because you're just unfolding everything. There he is. Hello. And let's put this gun in his hand properly now. Yeah, so I really like this and this whole line in general. I've got quite a few of them. The helicopter, which is not world, but it's a helicopter. Uh, the dune buggy one is the best. Like I'm sure I've done a video on that before. If I haven't, I probably should, because um, it's it's one of my favourite bots. The little dune buggy. I have it in both colours. Um, and there's a tank thing, which is pretty decent. The other ones all tend to transform into some kind of um, power loader powered armor kind of mode for the little guy. This this one doesn't really have anything like that, but it's still really cool. Highly recommend. If you can see him cheap, which you probably will be now, um, if there's any uh, kicking about out there in shops, or online shops probably. Um, yeah, give him a go. He's lots of fun.